What have we learned from 311 last year at Fukushima? We've learned a lot. Human error. We put a lot of faith in technology. I do. I get into airplanes, one of those wonderful inventions. But guess what? They keep dropping out of the skies. And almost always the reason is human error. It makes me laugh when I hear engineers say, oh, we've got a foolproof technology. Don't worry about it. Wait a minute. By definition, a foolproof technology is a technology free of fools. Who among us has never fallen in love and lost 50 IQ points, caught the flu or went to a party and got drunk, come into work the next day? We are all fools at some point in our lives. There is no such thing as a foolproof technology. Natural resources. Japan is the only nation ever to have a nuclear weapon dropped on them. They have an aversion to radioactivity, and yet they bought nuclear power to generate electricity. This complex technology to do what? to boil water. This is a country beset by earthquakes. In Tokyo alone, before 311, an average of 300 earthquakes a day. After 311, 600 earthquakes a day in a country in which you've got nuclear plants that boil water. Something doesn't compute. Trust issues. The problem is that corporations always say to us, trust us. What happened after the accident of the Exxon Valdez in Prince William Sound? Did we see any way of dealing with the huge spill? What about the Gulf spill when BP's well blew up and started to spill oil into the Gulf? What we saw was companies making it up on the spot. They had no idea how to deal with that. We saw that at Fukushima. They're making it up after the accident. They don't anticipate everything that could possibly go wrong. Moving forward, after 311, the Japanese people voluntarily reduced their electricity use by 25%. Only two of the nuclear plants out of 54 or 56 plants in Japan are now still running. The Japanese could easily shut down those two plants and begin to work towards a different kind of energy grid. Wind power, geothermal, tidal power, solar power. Japan has a real opportunity. And they shouldn't just say, crank up the nukes and let's go back to the old way.